Hello everyone. Today we're looking at this. This is another one of these rare uh, Nokia transportables that I own uh, in my collection. Uh, this one unfortunately is missing the uh, antenna and um, I've had to put a, a bit of black tape over here to hold the battery in. Uh, this is the battery here uh, and that little ejector clip is snapped so um, I've I've had to put a bit of tape over this to uh, make sure the battery stays in you know because I'm going to fire this up in a second um, th this particular one uh, th this this particular make um, uh, is a Nokia like I said um, I don't actually know the model of it um, for the simple reason that it doesn't actually say anywhere what kind of model this is um, apart from that sticker there which you can clearly see um, says something something France with a license PTT made in France um, there isn't anything else on here that would hint to um, a, a model of some sort um, or, or anything or any or anything of this uh, uh, you know that, that would depict what, what kind of phone this is I know this is definitely for the Radiocom 2000 network which is a, a cellular technology that's uh, long gone that I uh, used to operate in France um, Radiocom 2000 uh, just to give you a bit of background um, was the the French version of the uh, of the NMT 450 system? Uh, the, the NMT 450 was a Nordic mobile telephone system. They had up in Scandinavia, so Norway, Denmark, Sweden, uh, Iceland. Those those kinds of places had uh, the NMT system, um, and uh, the, the French basically did their own version, and uh, they came up with the Radiocom 2000. Which, uh, which operated on, on 450 megahertz range, uh, like the NMT 450. Uh, not to be confused with the M NMT 900, which obviously operates on, on, on 900 megahertz range. Uh, so uh, this is another one that I don't have any info in, uh, about. Um, I do actually have more than one of these, believe it or not. The guy sold me a few um, for the simple reason that um, he thought one of the handsets wasn't working. Um, I have fired up both but um, I can't get any sound out of this one um, so I do have a spare one it is exactly the same with the exception of that logo there which clearly says France Telecom um, so I'm going to power this one up um, strangely the power button is on here so you press that and it comes to life what's also really interesting is that you got a funky button just here um, God knows why you would put a button there. Um, I haven't actually worked out what the button's for. It, it's not to select stuff. So uh, uh, furthermore, if you had the phone in, in the cradle like so, um, you couldn't access that button. So maybe it's a French thing, I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, the menu on this is French and I haven't really played around too much with it. But um, you got basically um, a message button, a menu button, uh, and um, an enter number button. I think when you press that, you can put a number in. Um, so if we go one, one, and that stores it in location one. I, I ain't figured out too much how to do this yet, so I'm gonna cancel that. Um, what, what's strange to note though is that um, it, it, you, you can you can dial a number on here and it'll pretty much ring straight away and then the phone realizes oh there's no cell coverage or cell service and then you get a, a, a busy tone uh, and just to show you what I mean um, actually I, I'm, I'm not going to use this handset because I don't think the speaker on this is working so I'm going to quickly change the handsets around um, it's just a, I, I like this one because it says Nokia on it um, and, and and this is one this is one Nokia phone that actually I don't know any other collector that has um, so if, if there is somebody out there that knows how to work this by all means let me know because um, I sure as hell don't know how to use this uh, the menu on this is real strange like I said um, so to fire it up and at least we get a bit of sound out of this one um, so um, if we do uh, let's have a look how did I do that so that that's recall I guess LEC is recall if you press dial I would say that's ringing and then the phone realizes that actually there's no service um, 
and you can hear the crackle. Um, it, this is pure old school analog, this is. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, the antenna's missing. This has got a, a BNC connector on it for an antenna, which is somewhat rare because um, most BNC connectors uh, don't swivel 360 degrees, so it, it's a strange thing to have as an antenna connector, but I guess they had their reasons for using it. Um, most are um, TMCs or, or, or similar connectors, N-type connectors, that sort of thing. Um, so just going through the menu real quick, because um, um, just to give you some sort of idea. And for Mobile, of course, this is all in, in French. Uh, Modif Clés. Um, I guess that's something to do with a counter of some sort, maybe time counters. Um, I have no idea what that is. Um, answer, I guess. Uh, installation choice, maybe. Installation functions. Uh, installation something or other. Um, settings, probably. Um, limit clay. Um, not sure what that is. Um, something immediate. Erase immediate, maybe. Don't know what that is. And info mobile. Now, I haven't worked out how to use this, but if you want that option, I don't actually know how to select it. Um, there is no button that will select it. Um, not even the button at the back will select that. So I don't actually know how to get into the uh, how to get into the menu. Um, maybe this was just designed for use. Uh, for people who spoke French, I don't know, but my parlez-vous français ain't too good. Uh, so, anyway, um, there ain't really too much I can show you, um, apart from the fact it says radio, well, R2000, which is Radiocom 2000. Uh, it's got a funky battery meter there as well, um, but no service meter, which is interesting. Uh, it's got the usual um, car... Uh, button uh, all the Radiocom 2000 phones that I have and, and they're all transportables like this none of them are actually handhelds like um, like a handheld like this sort of thing this is an old school Nokia um, or, or for example um, a Siemens like this wrong way around uh, none, none of the Radiocom devices that I own um, are, are a handheld they're all transportable and what's interesting to note about this one is is this one has a really nice this one has a really nice um, leather feel um, holder uh, and that's something you don't see too often this is genuine leather um, it certainly feels real to me uh, and this ain't the cheap plastic you get on some phones this is this is genuine stuff um, so but th that's about all I have to say about this phone um, it's a shame I can't tell you any more um, like I said uh, these are somewhat really rare i've looked online and um there, there ain't any information on on, on this on, on this particular nokia um, i do i did find a um a um a picture with the same handset on this phone uh that was labeled up as sagem or sagem so presumably sagem bought um bought a, a whole bunch of these from nokia and uh they rebadged them so um because uh, sagem's a french company uh, and they make lots of stuff. I mean, they, to this day still, they make a lot of modems uh, for use in Africa because obviously um, in Africa they speak French and uh, in France they speak French. So it, it kind of works hand in hand. But um, certainly I've not come across um, a, a Sajum phone um, in a long time. But uh, this is definitely a Nokia though. Um, and, and like I said, this doesn't have any other ID of any sort to, um, to tell you what kind of model it is really, which is... Um, unfortunate i guess um so yeah if uh, if you like this phone or if you like the video um give me the thumbs up uh, also don't forget to check out um, some of the other videos that i have uh, on here and uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching